and we're uh, back up here today. And uh, <laughs> I think if you notice, there is um, about 50 patch cables missing. Um, there was a lot, most of them are not even being used. Uh, I am um, gonna go ahead, I got our PFSense going on. And kind of show you what I'm, my plan is here is that each um, VLAN is a new subnet. Boom, 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 boom. And uh, they have uh, uh, 30 of them on each, uh, on each box. So um, that's kind of what I figured was the simplest solution. Um, now I've gone ahead and VLAN'd out this switch. So opt one. Up two, up three, up there, you know, all the way through. And that's apartment 101, 102, 103, 104, and start uh, uh, floor two there. Um, so I'm gonna just be reusing these patch cables because they're fine. There's they're cat six. There's nothing wrong with them. There's no point in uh, sending them to the trash can. Um, so we're doing the jacks right now, and uh, how it lays out is it's uh, 101 two. 1022, and uh, those are the living room Cat6 drops, and uh, I'm going to be throwing them together. Um, and uh, just because of the comments, um, and that it's not ethical uh, to leave this the way it is, um, I'm going to be cutting uh, this and I'm putting an RJ11 jack on that today. So um, I'll, I'll be quick. So hopefully nobody uh, has any issues, but there's nobody in the building today, so it would just be construction guys, I guess. Um, it'll only take five minutes or so. So um, maybe I'll put a sign on the box just to be safe. <clears throat> but yeah, um, I will uh, try to get that on video so I can actually cut it open and let's see what's really inside. It feels like wire nuts, but I can't really uh, tell. Um, and this is a direct berry cable, so I'm assuming it leaves here, goes in that conduit, and it's direct buried probably all the way out to it. So um, we should have uh, 30 building, I mean 30 uh, units roughed in today, um, and then uh, tomorrow I'll probably be working on getting. So this is light up here to our pop, but there's no um, configurations on the far end, so I really need to get the uh, internet actually working and stuff. But I have my interns tomorrow, so that's probably what we'll do tomorrow. <clears throat> well, that sucks. So yesterday, this battery uh, failed, and today this battery failed. So these things are uh, pieces of crap. I'm gonna get the serial numbers and see if uh, see if we can order some more here. There we go. But uh, they look the same. Um, but you know what? They're actually slightly different. This only has two buttons. This has four, but... Oh, smart UPS 1500. Yeah, lame. Well, those things can probably just go into the dumpster, I guess, at this point. By the time I buy the batteries, do the, do the work, and then God knows what'll happen, you know? Um, I, uh... Went ahead, I removed all of these patch panels. They were hooked, they were hooked up, but there was no light on them. And uh, it's, that's that's that. So this is my, what I just reused. Um, and I just bundled um, 30 cables together. Uh, instead of sending them to the dumpster, I just reused them. So the short ones were first, the blue guys were pretty long, and my last two, um, I just did, uh, did not have enough, which, my uh, OCD kind of gives me anxiety about that, but um, so then down on all the uh, rooms, we've just got one uh, one cable per uh, apartment, um, all the way down, and then down here we got another bundle. So we've uh, determined that every single port is blue, and it's um, number two except for the three bedroom um, units for whatever reason it's yellow and it's number three so I don't know if you guys ever did it just didn't have enough cable or something 
But uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, do this that everybody wanted to do. I'm going to um, repair uh, this telephone line properly. Um, and what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, go outside, I'm going to press the button, contact the police, let them know what I'm doing, and uh, I guess we'll just go do that. So I'll let them know that I am here uh, and I'm working on the telephone line. So, and then I'll let them know after I repair it properly. Um, after I repair it properly, then we'll go ahead and uh, call, give them a call back and just to let them know. Let them know and we'll do this the right, right way. So, hopefully the damn thing even works, I don't know. Let's see what happens. Uh, yes, um, my name is uh, Bryce Purdue, and I'm with Simple Fiber. I'm here at the Hawks Plaza development, and I am going to be working on this telephone line for the emergency phone. And I just wanted to give you a call, let you know, and then in about 12 to 15 minutes, I'm going to give you a call back and, and uh, let you know the repair was completed. You were? Say that one more time. Where are you located? I am at the Hawks Plaza Building A, and I'm going to be working on the telephone line for the emergency oh, phone. Plaza Building A. Yep. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, and I'll give you a call uh, back. All right. Uh huh. Cool. Well, that phone quality sucks balls. So, uh, pretty confident that there's nothing I can do to screw that up. Um, but we'll uh, we'll go ahead and. Uh, do this quick quick repair and I'll just do this all in one shot here so we can all kind of see together what this crazy stuff looks like oh man this door is so freaking hard to open it's like a it's like a half size door but it has like a freaking four foot door closer on it <clears throat> ay, ay, ay. Okay, so what we're gonna need is uh, got some uh, RJ, um, RJ, yeah, got some RJ11 jacks in here. Um, huh. Got two, two RJ11 jacks, and uh, I'm gonna need my <clears throat> handy dandy tools. Alrighty, so let me see if I can't set this up in a way. We can uh, we can all kind of see what's going on. Yeah. There we go. Uh, actually, not not too bad. Put that right there so it takes some glare away. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and be uh, cutting this zip tie so I can get it over to the camera. Alright, well, let's see what, let's open this. First, I'm going to uh, unhook that. Next, I'm going to be uh, unwrapping this, and let's, let's see. I think it's wire nuts. Yep, wire nuts. Oh boy. So, that, that is your emergency telephone yeah boy so how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna clean clean this back this cable back some yep oh hell at least they twisted them I guess but ain't that some shit man such an important phone line like, you see how professional the rack is they got fiber and they got all kinds of shit and then they have a this. <clears throat> so I think what I'll do here, um, my jack will fit up on there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to have to trim those completely. Ain't nothing 
to it. And uh, I'll go ahead and give this lady a call back in just a few moments. Okay. So, what I want is this to stay twisted right up into my jack. I'm gonna measure that out. I think I just gotta go a little bit. This isn't gonna be, uh, be able to go all the way up on there, I don't think, but. Dookie. Yeah, we're gonna have to, uh, <clears throat> just because this is that gel, gelatin filled cable. Well, it used to be gel filled. Gravy. Okay, so we are landed uh, on uh, center pins there, uh, and we shall put that in. That's just how it has to be. Um, this cable really needs to get a punch, um, punch down, but uh, that's, I'm gonna call that an upgrade over the wire nuts and electrical tape. <clears throat> so let's go ahead, and this is gonna live right on top of my router too, so I like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's, give him a, let's give him a call, see if it sounds any better, but I <clears throat> have a slight feeling that it is going to not only work but it's also going to sound sound better here Uh, yes, this is uh, Bryce Purdue with Simple Fiber again. I'm just calling back to let you know the repairs are completed uh, here at the uh, emergency phone at Hawks Plaza Building A. Hawks Plaza Building A, okay. Alrighty, thank you so much. Uh -huh. Well, you know, I can't really tell if it sounds better or not, but it didn't sound worse, that's for sure. I think it, she doesn't have a phone on her side, I don't think. I think... Uh, I think she might have a, um, uh, like a dispatch system or something. So she'd probably be able to answer the phone, but also interface with uh, the police there. So, cool. Cool, cool. So that's about, that's about where we're gonna end up today. Um, I do have, oh God, my ankle hurts. Um, we ordered a uh, hundred jacks. And um, they came in and from Amazon in one day. Um, and uh, we went ahead and then ordered plates. And the plates are going to take six days. So I don't know what the hell is going on in life, but Amazon is slacking. So we're going to be pu pushing the cable back in. Um, these folks don't need Comcast. And then we're going to be pushing this guy in. Uh, mount our device right here. Power. And we're, gonna have to, and we're just going to do that 30. 30 times in a row. And uh, I'm pretty, pretty well uh, done for the day. I did have to go and get toilet paper for the guys uh, because uh, 
yeah, there's a, there's a 60 bathrooms in this building and no toilet paper. Um, so I will uh, most likely double check those at the other two buildings when I when I get there, and I'll do the same same thing again there. But uh, yeah, it makes me feel a little bit happier. And um, I think uh, there was a couple folks comments, uh, and you know 